Well, I took it a second to fade in there. Um, yeah, so here we are, back again. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, the reason being, I've got a little project I'm working on that's taken up a lot of my time and uh, haven't been able to, to get down here and do this. I'm pretty excited about this project because it's going to be kind of life-changing, I hope, uh, in a good way. So as that progresses, I'll definitely let you guys know what's going on. Uh, that said, one more thing. I told you a while back that I would, would review the, uh, the five officers that beat that guy to death up in, uh, I think it was Memphis. And I decided I'm not going to give those people any more airtime than they've already gotten. Uh, some other guys have reviewed that video uh, in great detail. I, I just, from what I've seen, I, I dare not even call those guys cops. And uh, if some of the, the rumors bear out to be true about what what happened there, yeah, they're, they're, they're not cops. So I'm not going to give them time on my channel. So there's that. Let's get on with this. Uh, this is out of Paulding, Georgia. The video is about a year old, and believe it or not, there's lawsuits uh, <laughs> surrounding this, this interaction. So about 6 o'clock in the morning, outside of the subdivision, somebody calls and says, hey, is somebody in a, in a hoodie with a backpack trying to break into cars? Now, that's not uncommon. Matter of fact, the early morning hours when, when we would get most of our what we call auto breakings or uh, theft from auto or however you guys put it in your jurisdiction. Uh, early morning hours, people are out shaking, you know, car doors trying to get in, get loose change, guns, whatever they can find, uh, especially people that don't lock their cars. Uh, so that's kind of what happened here. Hey, there's somebody, uh, dark hoodie, backpack, trying to get into cars. This uh, deputy responded to the area and apparently located somebody matching that description. So let's see what happens. All right, now, let me ask you this. You're the responding deputy officer, whatever, and you've got this call about, you know, white male, hoodie, jacket, backpack, whatever the descriptors are, and you see somebody matching that description in the immediate vicinity from where the call came. You are within your rights to get out with that person, right? I mean, that, that's Terry all day, wrong, all day long, right? Agree, disagree. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. These your hands out of your pockets. Turn up your chickens, buddy, bud. Excuse me? You're being detained, bud. Don't take your backpack off. Um, take your backpack off. Excuse me, what am I doing? Take your backpack off. Um, can you explain what this is? Before you go on the ground, take your backpack off. I'm going, going to get picked up for work. Come on. Since you want to play this game. Sir. Put your hands on your back. This is my phone. Put it down. Can you tell me what's going on? Just put your hands behind your back before you end up on the ground. I'm trying to drop up my phone. Hello? Are you going to tell me what you're You're being detained for a minute. Can you imagine the description of someone trying to break into people's cars? Uh, I'm not breaking anyone's car. Good! <laughs> Okay, he heard him. That that guttural, that's, I have no more air in my lungs because it was all expelled because this big old boy just put me on my face. What do you think up to this point? Do you think he should have given him the reason for the stop before detaining him? Or was it, hey, let's get handcuffs on this guy pretty quickly because he matches the description of somebody that I'm looking for. May or may not be armed, I don't know. It, is this good or no? I mean, you can look at Terry uh, and some other case law and, and make your determination from there. Was he within policy and procedure for this agency? I have no idea. But up to this point, is he good or no? Get my fucking bag. You dumb bastard. Oh, my God. 
Quick question, what do you think about the way that the uh, this deputy's talking to him? Have you ever said anything like that? You ever said anything like that on camera? It's two different things, I know. That said, I, I'm guilty of it. And I'm sure most of us are at some point saying things that, you know, may seem out of pocket, but, you know, the heat of the moment, you say shit that you, you probably shouldn't say. That said... Is that the best way to communicate? When the cops say, put your hands on your back, you do it. And then be explained. I don't know what I did wrong. I was trying to explain to you, but you wanted to keep pulling away. So now you're under arrest for obstruction. Nope, I told you multiple times. All you had to do was listen. But no, you wanted to be a child, try to pull away. You're right. That's your fault. No, come on. No, you're under arrest. No. Yeah. Really? Car parts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 How old are you, 29? I'm not calling your dad. What? I'm not calling your dad, you're 29. You're older than me, I ain't calling. No, come on, please. I'm just trying to get to work. You're going back, Michael. Come on, you need to check. I'm really just trying to get to work. Are they on the way? No, not yet. I'll call them. Hey, folks, you're a guy. You're a guy. You're a guy. Please, I'm just trying to get there. I forgot the date of mine. I was just trying to confirm the first name is Chris and not Chris from Pennsylvania. I have to get back. 1066. Oh. Okay. That's all you. Oh. Okay. Is there anything you want to take the pressure off of you? We're running Chris East 95 of 89 returns. Chris, if we're Lee East out of Dallas, class C regular ballot. Oh, that's good. Show Apostle 99 out of holding reference to probation violation on the 109 charge. Want to be a dick? Oh, I said, put your hand behind your back for being detained. What do you say? What? No. What is this about? And I was like, dude, I'll explain it in just a minute. <phone rings> hey, Paul, we're 10 4. Uh, go and start Metro for my 95. Calling 
Yeah. You got a light on you? Uh, you are. I tried to key it up, it wouldn't go out. I was like, fuck it, dude. Because he, he started walking that way. I was like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Male backpack, right? Dark clothing? Yep. I mean, it matches to a T. <coughs> I'm willing to bet he's on camera. Which will make sure it's him. Because he doesn't really have. I was like, I can, uh, I can go up to that address. Yeah, just, just in case he, no, he hit his head pretty good. Fair. Oh. Gloves. Tools. Mask. Hey, just real quick. If you're going to go rooting around through somebody's shit, put gloves on. Because you never know what you're going to find, you know? You don't want to be the guy that pulls a dildo out of the backpack without gloves on. Oh no, I don't I can't tell. Maybe a little something on that. No, just right here. I shaved. Oh okay. Hey, look, my nose good. No. Yeah, no, you're good. Addresses? This is this how we're going to start the day off, huh? Friday, it's not even... It's 6.13. <laughs> I didn't stretch before any other shit, man. I just saw legs go up. I'm like, I'm falling over. I <coughs> didn't fall in the tent him. He ever made it into a into a car, did he? Uh, he was that we know of. Yeah, he yeah. was trying. He was trying. So, if it is him, he had criminal intent on that. Yeah, criminal intent. That was like they said negative charges. Did you see him trying to get into a car? I was gonna address that later. No fair.
Bam! There's another glove. No fire. All you do is take his backpack off, burn it up, put his hand by the back. We wouldn't have played this game. Answer this for me. Somebody doesn't want to take their backpack off, or if that becomes a point of contention, can you just handcuff them with the backpack on? And then deal with it once you get somebody out with you? Is that, is that, a, is that a, a reasonable thing to do? P1 gets it off of scanning. Why is it? P1. Oh, okay. Let's see if you got any of my shit. Right? <laughs> my wife likes to leave her car in huh? I don't think he actually got into a car. Um, uh, I dropped him on his head right there. Uh, okay. I got boo boos too, so I'm okay. Where but yeah, in the back of my car. Just make sure he's. Okay, I think that's back off. Um, take your back back off. Excuse me, what am I doing? Take your right? back back off. Um, can you explain what this Before is? you go on the ground, take your backpack off. I'm going, going to get picked up for work. Come on. All right, so I think this is where a lot of people are going to get hung up. And, and, and I think the, the problem is going to be, well, the officer or the deputy didn't explain what the reason of the stop was before he started giving commands. Are you obligated to? Question mark. Right? Is, is this a reasonable Terry stop? Question mark. Do you want to play this game? Yes, sir. Put your hands on your back. This is my phone. Put Hello. it down. Can you tell me what's going on? Just put your hands hand behind your back before you end up on the ground. I'm trying to drop up my phone. Hello? Are you telling me what this is about? You're being detained for a minute. Can you imagine the description of someone trying to break into people's cars? Uh, I'm not breaking anyone's cars. No. All right, so... I think another thing that's going to come up. Well, he said he wasn't breaking into cars. Well, you got calls, you got a description that he matches. And then one thing that you can't see from dash cam, body cam, especially in situations like this where you know, you're trying to take somebody into custody, you can't feel how that suspect or subject is, is moving. You can't feel those muscles tense up, the way that they turn, the way that they look. And all those things are, you know, nonverbal cues, obviously, of something that may be about to happen. Now, he hadn't had a chance to pat this guy down. You, you don't want to do that without handcuffs on him if you can help it, right? So, hey, quick and easy way to get this handled is to, is to put you on the ground so that we don't have to deal with you reaching for something that you may or may not have hidden on your body. Like I said, there's a lawsuit surrounding this. The kid apparently uh, in this interaction busts his eardrum and I think cracks some either cracks some ribs or or uh, some some bonage somewhere in his body. But I'm curious as to what you guys think. At its face, is it an is is it a good Terry stop based on the information that's provided? Was the deputy's reaction reasonable? And if not, why? Why wasn't it reasonable? So, and do you think the lawsuit's going to turn out? Which way do you think the lawsuit's going to turn out? And, and also, as an aside, be careful what you say and how you say it because you know you're being recorded, right? So some of the stuff Deputy said, I'm guilty of saying myself, as I'm sure most of us are, but there were a couple of things, for instance, like I hope you know, I hope this is the right guy, and I'm paraphrasing, um, or, you know, I hope this is the right one. Well, shit, dude. I mean, what do you mean you hope? Because this is all going to either be in a deposition or it's going to be in a civil trial. 
So you've got to be thinking, hey, what I'm about to say is going to be played for a, you know, either a jury of 12 or somebody that's going to do a, a, a deposition. And how's this going to sound when it's played for people that weren't there? Because that shit matters. And if you've not sat through a deposition or a civil, civil uh, action, it matters. So... That's that. You guys drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. This is interesting, and, and it's interesting for me because this isn't the usual stuff where somebody gets shot or stabbed or something, and we're reviewing a, a, a critical incident. This is day-to-day. -day. This is everyday shit right here. This is, you know, what is there, an interaction every, you know, 1.5 seconds in the U.S. So, you know, this is part of them and a large part of them. So let me know. You guys be good or be good at it. We'll see you next time. In the meantime, be safe. We'll see you next time.